नमस्ते हे गाइस माय सेल्फ राकेश वेलकम टू एक्सपो हब ऑटोमेशन वर्ल्ड चैनल माय गोल इज टू प्रोवाइड यू क्लियर कट नॉलेज ऑन यू आई पाथ दैट्स माय अटेम्प्ट प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल एंड इफ यू फील गुड अबाउट दिस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक हिट ऑन द लाइक बटन सो विद दैट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद आवर टॉपिक टुडे सो टुडेस टॉपिक इज हाउ डू आई यूज एक्सट्रैक्ट वर्क फ्लो इफ यू सी इफ यू राइट क्लिक ऑन एनी ऑफ योर सिक्वेंस और एनी ऑफ योर uh workflow you see something called extract as workflow so what is the use of it we are going to see have you ever used it so what is the use of it now the next question is once you do it you will find something called invoke there is something called invoke code so you will invoke workflow now invoke workflow activity will come into picture so how will you utilize that okay what are arguments what are in argument out argument so all of this will get more clarity today okay so for that let's continue till the end of the video i am going to give you lot many clues which is very very important for you to learn at least once while in your ui path journey okay so with that let's get started so let me first delete the sequence and let's get started from the very beginning okay so extract workflow and i also have to teach you about arguments both of it okay so let me delete this okay let's start from the very beginning so now let me go to activities we will take a very simple example okay first thing i am going to ask the salary amount salary amount so here i am going to say how much salary you have earned this month okay so this is the question i'm going to ask and let me pull up salary amount this is the label i have put okay and here i'm going to create a variable called salary amount simple okay so it's going to ask the user what is the salary amount so as soon as it is asked to the user next input dialog box will come and it will ask him what is the uh, home expenditure okay so one thing uh, you should be very clear while using input dialog box let's say how much salary you have earned so i want that to come in the bottom so let's see that salary amount so there is a mistake okay i have to put alternatively so let's do that quickly so this has to Let me delete and paste it over here. And here, let the title be salary amount. Clear? Okay. So with that, I will get in in the exact way I want. How much salary you have earned in this month? So let's see that. Okay. So the input dialog box might change time to time. I have seen UI path is changing the style and look and feel. But all you need to know is uh, the heading and the what question you want to ask, and there will be a variable. This will remain common. Okay. In the design. all right so now once it asked the next question it is going to ask is uh, what is your expenditure home expenditure okay home expenditure and here i'm going to ask the same question what is the home expenditure amount for this month okay so let me this is the question so now once you ask the question again create a variable control plus k and i'm saying home expenditure and while i am doing you also try doing along with me that's where you will learn very nicely okay so once i ask this next what i am going to do look at this i am going to pull a sequence okay so this is a sequence within a sequence i am pulling a sequence i'll tell you why i pulled a sequence and inside this sequence i am going to write a very common activity what is the common activity here control plus k i am going to create a variable called balance amount okay so i am going to minus so here what i am going to do first i am going to ask the customer what is the home expenditure next i am going to ask the customer what is the loan amount he needs to pay this month then i am going to ask what is the petrol uh, budget that he has okay any travel fund so for different different things i am going to ask question and i am going to do the same activity of minusing that amount from the 
salary so let's say salary is 100 rupees minus 10 then minus 20 minus whatever it is right so finally i have to get the balance amount so that is my activity and this one i have to use repeatedly same thing i have to do 10 times 15 times on various question i'm going to ask so the extract workflow is going to help you to reduce that effort you don't have to write it several times right you can reduce that effort so i'm going to show you that so balance amount and here i'm going to create another variable control plus k a minus enter so i'm going to say a minus control plus k and i'm going to say b enter okay so i'm going to simply say a minus b so what is a and b let's see that so here i am going to convert everything into integer because i'll be dealing with integers only right so i'm converting salary amount to integer so all of this you put it to integer okay done so now i have written a minus b to keep it quite simple you can give a proper name so balance amount is equal to a minus b and after that i'm going to show a message box each time this minus happens i will show your remaining balance is your remaining balance amount is okay and here i am going to say dollar and give a plus sign i am going to say balance amount balance balance amount dot to string okay so that's once i do this okay once i do this i know this specific two activities or four actives whatever you have this is very common i have to use it multiple times in my project okay i have to use multiple times in a project so what i should do all you have to do is that's why i have kept all this activity within a sequence so it becomes a capsule so what i'm going to do i'm going to right click on this sequence and I am going to click on extract as workflow. Okay, what I am doing, whatever activity is common, I am going to keep it within a sequence and I am going to right click and I am going to say extract as workflow. So all of these activities, what is there in that container will become a single entity and I can call it several times. I can call that. Okay, so I am going to show you. So I am going to give a name. So the activity purpose is balance amount calculation. So I am going to give a proper name to this sequence or to this workflow okay so now what is happening this become an entity so how do you identify this has become a separate entity all you do go to project so project you have seen it has created there was only main.xml before once you have extracted it has created another workflow called .xml balance amount calculation okay now let's go back to the main so main also you have seen automatically that entire sequence has converted itself to invoke workflow so invoke workflow and it has automatically imported it, it has automatically got that workflow so if you click on open workflow it is going to show you that okay it's showing you the same thing so now very important once it has created invoke workflow we have to pass the data for example if i have to calculate the balance amount i have to pass the salary minus home expenditure amount i am asking two different question right and this data is getting stored in this two variables so i have to pass this data into the workflow so that it can do the calculation so how you do it so let me show you so let's go op click on open workflow okay open workflow and here click on arguments so you see there are no arguments but whatever variables we had created that they are there so these variables are not required so let me delete all the variables and the same thing let me create in the arguments remember i have to create in the argument so what i will do here i am going to say balance amount which is what is its style it is out right it is going to send the data out so i am going to say out and this is supposed to be integer done then i have created another variable called a if you remember and this is in type it is going to collect the data and this has to be integer so here all i am going to do i am going to define those variables okay in the argument section in the argument section of the workflow i am just defining them i am creating them okay so i am going to say b and this is also in in type okay very simple so once you have invoked it all you have to do is you open the workflow 
you are coming to the workflow and once you come to the workflow you are deleting all the variables if it is there then coming to the arguments and you started creating all the variables that you need for this workflow okay so i have created all of them now what you do come out of this go to the main here you click on import arguments so what would happen whatever arguments you have created that will get imported so if it is not happening why because i did not save it so let me save it go to the main and import okay so now you can see whatever i have created in that workflow in the argument panel everything got imported here okay now what we do here the a amount is what here the a amount is salary amount okay and what is the b amount is home expenditure i am going to minus a minus b right so salary minus okay now the balance amount has to pass the data to somewhere outside variable so here you will create a variable called control plus k and i am going to say net balance i am going to create another variable called net balance so this data will pass towards the balance okay getting it so in means the salary amount data will pass here the home expenses data will pass here out means this data will pass here so why there is an error click on okay i am going to tell you go to variables and here your net balance should be an integer type okay it is integer type go here that error is supposed to go out okay there is no error so everything is fine done now let's say i am going to ask my next question so what is my next question what is your loan amount so you can keep going right so i can just call this workflow so let's see this example so here i am going to say loan amount easy what is your loan payment amount you can give a label if you need loan amount done and here i am going to create a variable control plus k i am going to say loan amount okay now here i am going to again use this invoke balance so how will you do will you copy paste not required all you do is go to projects and here from the project what you do just drag and drop this balance amount xml file so automatically it is going to create the invoke workflow for you easy okay now here again what you do click on import arguments okay now what is happening i have to if you remember in the previous workflow the net balance if you remember i have created a variable called net balance is storing this remaining amount right the remaining balance so what i am going to do it here in the import argument in the a i am going to put net balance okay minus loan amount correct no from net only i have to do it right not from the salary from the net balance do so once it is calculated that value will go to balance amount and that has to again pass it to the variable net balance getting it okay so now let's see how this one is working so you have seen how the import argument is working so there is a error one or more children have validation error so let's see that okay loan amount has a question mark let's go to the variable and clear that make it to integer done simple you know how to rectify them okay so let's save it let's run and see how the extract workflow has worked how the invoke workflow arguments are working okay so let's see so how much salary you have earned this month let's say i'm giving keeping keeping it simple 100 let's say what is the home expenditure amount let's say home expenditure is 10 rupees let's say or 10 dollars now your earning balance is dollar 90 fine okay now it's going to ask another question loan amount let's say loan amount is 20 dollars let's click on okay so now your remaining balance is dollar 70 so you can see 90 minus 20 so 70 so it's doing the proper calculation so this way this is a simple example so this is saving a lot of time right once you have invoked that workflow you don't have to write those things several times clear so you can imagine in a big project in a complex project there will be so many things which you have to repeatedly use so in such areas you can use this technique so what i'm going to teach you here is the technique so you have learned this technique from this simple example and you can imagine in a complex project how you can utilize if you know this right so thank you if you like this video if you feel good about this video please do hit on the like button and please do subscribe to our channel i am sure my entire goal is to provide you the key knowledge of UiPath so that it will help you in your UiPath or RPA developer journey. Thank you guys. You guys have a great day.